Before we check in with Jess, let's check in with you and check out this shot from John today at Hathorne Point in Cushing. The fog there rolling in over the St. George River. Thanks to John for sharing this one with us. And remember, you can always share your photos and videos using the Near Me section of our new Center Main app. And Jess, we love that sun, but that was a pretty beautiful shot there. <laughs> yeah, we have more fog around tonight too, Zach, and we'll see some again tomorrow. So some nice, you know, views kind of in the morning <laughs> and then more sun once we get into tomorrow afternoon, which means our temperatures are going to warm back up again. And then we'll repeat the warm temperatures for the day on Saturday, and then we're really going to warm up. But visibility already down tonight, especially close to the coast. Uh, under a mile and a half now in Rockland, under a mile and three quarters in Wiscasset, Portland down to under three quarters of a mile Portsmouth under half a mile and we will see that fog as we head into tomorrow morning. Eventually though it'll move out and we'll see more sunshine by tomorrow afternoon and things should be able to warm up quite a bit. Dense fog advisories though for the areas here shaded appropriately in gray. So be careful overnight tonight and through tomorrow morning too. This goes until 8 a.m. tomorrow so you might need a little extra time to get to where you need to go in the morning and just of course be careful on the roads. Our highs today were way above normal for this time of year. Record breaking in Bangor, record high temperatures set in Caribou as well. Again, Bangor broke that record from 1991 today by three degrees. Pretty good there. Uh, potential for some records to be broken tomorrow. I think Augusta stands a chance. I believe the record for tomorrow in Augusta is 80. I think you'll be pretty close to that by tomorrow afternoon. Right now, most of us in the 50s, still 60 actually in Bangor, 52 in Portland, Lewiston, currently at 56. So it's comfortable out there tonight. You can see some of those clouds starting to move in already. And again, that fog along the coast. We will see some clouds overnight, but once we get into late tomorrow morning, those clouds really start to move out and so does the fog. But to start the morning tomorrow, most of us will be right around 50 or so with the clouds in the fog around through the morning and even into the late morning that fog really tries to hang on uh, along the coastline. But once we get into the afternoon, things clear out. Temperatures start to warm up inland. We're talking upper 70s to potentially some low 80s closer to the coast. Things eventually warm up. I think most of us make it into the upper 60s and low 70s for tomorrow. Then on Saturday, I know this model looks like it's showery here. Don't worry about that. We should stay dry on Saturday. We'll start with very mild temperatures. This is 6 a.m. on Saturday and we're already close to 60 degrees. So you know what that means. We're warming up Saturday afternoon. Portland finally approaching that 80 degree mark. Bangor, Augusta, Lewiston, Waterville all around 80 by the late morning hours. And then we just keep warming up as we head into Saturday afternoon, especially away from the coast mid 80s for highs for most of us. I do think we're going to stay dry for the day on Saturday, though. Again, I know this model's looking a little showery. I think those showers hold off until Sunday. They'll be here uh, Sunday, mainly afternoon and evening. They'll be here again on Monday and it stays showery into Tuesday morning uh, as well. We do need some rain, though. Things have been very dry. Seas around three to four feet for tomorrow. Winds from the south at five to 15, gusting to around 20 knots tomorrow afternoon. So yeah, away from the coast tomorrow, low 80s and then mid to upper 80s on Saturday. Definitely potential there for some record breaking temperatures too. Some showers start to move in by Sunday afternoon. Showers stick around. Uh, we'll see them again come in on mo uh, Monday afternoon and stick around until Tuesday morning. Temperatures will eventually return to normal next week. By Wednesday and Thursday, we're back into those low to mid 60s, which is much more typical for this time of year. So we're getting kind of a little preview of things to come later on in the summer. We'll get to, you know, work on our tan for a couple days and then kind of switch back to spring, Zach. <laughs> yeah, I'm sweating already. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. Thanks.